I can see. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Oh, I hate this light. Just thought we could hang out today. Like, why not? Whoa. You guys can watch me get ready. I know that's exactly what you want to do with your time today. I'm actually meeting with a friend today, a friend that I made on set, and she speaks English, which is why we have this uh, connection. We are going to Hongdae, Hongdae, which is like a very hip place to hang out. The most exciting thing about today is that we're going to Raccoon Cafe. I know. What could that possibly B. I am so curious. I'm really excited to find out. I'm kind of getting weirded out now think talking about it out loud because like is this moral? Like are these raccoons like miserable? If they are then I'm kind of sad now all of a sudden. Nice. Should we talk about music? What do you guys want to talk about? Hmm? What do you guys want to talk about? Yeah, I'm just putting layers and layers of this shit on because my skin is not very nice to me these days. But yeah, so music. I've, I've recently been listening to this guy named Conan, Conan Moccasin. It's Conan. Strange name. I was suggested to listen to him on my Discover on Spotify last year or so, and I thought some of his songs were cool, but I was a little... I was a little creeped out by his... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it 100%, so I kind of moved on. Something about him kind of creeped me out. I think it had to do with his album cover or one of his songs. I just... I just and then I found him on my discover again kind of forgetting who he was and then i was listening to jazz busters i think that's how you say it and i was kind of blown away top favorites are yeah the first three charlotte's thong momos and last night right now momos is like on repeat it's just a really sad song but it's so sweet and soft at the same time it's not just depressing you know so i just want to keep listening to it I didn't wash my hair today. I washed it yesterday. I'm gonna wear a beanie. Showering is a waste of time. No, I, I do like to feel clean, but it takes up too much time. And, okay, I need to hurry. It's raining today. Oh my God, the sun is just, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> what kind of makeup look should I do? What do, what do raccoons like? Probably like something that looks similar to them. I can definitely do that, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. You know, time is everything. You 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 think that you can do something. And you're like, okay, yeah, for sure, I'm gonna do this right now. And then you realize you don't have time, and then you just don't do it. But why do you not have time? What what do you what what is it that you're late for? You know, that's the real question. Is it really that important that you can't do this much more important thing? I don't know, I'd, re I'd, 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 I'd reevaluate if I were you. You guys, I'm getting premature wrinkles. Officially in my 20s. Don't have smooth under eyes like I used to. <laughs> and I have wrinkles. You, you don't have wrinkles one day, and then one day you do. What you decide to do with those wrinkles builds your character. I'm like talking about how I might be late, and I'm positive that my sister is watching this. I know you're watching this and you're super anxious right now. Don't worry, I don't, I'm not late at all, I have time, I just, you know, I'm being wary, I'm being cautious of the amount of time I have. So don't worry. Don't worry, sis, I won't be late, just for you. She hates it, she is like the opposite of me. Everyone that knows me, or is close to me, knows that I have issues with being on time. 
I hate this about me. Like, I think I'm an okay person and I have good, you know? But the late thing, I don't know why... <clears throat> I don't know why I do that. Like, I think I've definitely gotten better, for sure. Um, so it, it's like... I just heard something like a sound. Okay, I can kind of do a raccoon look right now. I'm gonna kind of go for a raccoon look, okay? Oh, you guys. You guys! What the f***, bro? <sighs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be late, trust me. People in Korea see my eyelashes and they're like, what the f- they, They're very vocal about how they feel. Actually, it's only the dudes. Like, it's never girls that are like, what are you doing? Like, it's always the guys. You really curl the lashes. Yeah, I think you went a little hard on the mascara today. And it's always just so rude. It's like, what do you want me to do about this comment? And I did not ask for your opinion. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to go back home? Do you do my makeup? Like, what do you, what's your motive? Why are you, is it funny to you? People just think bullying is just humor here. Flaming one another in a very, like, like we roast each other, right? In America, that's a thing. But here, it's a very different level. Like, they really find that part of you that is so vulnerable and sensitive and they just, they just know it right where it is. And that scares the sh out of me but I'm also slightly impressed because it, it, a part of me is like wow you you got me really got me there but at the same time I'm like never talk to me again like this guy this one guy I know I look like a ghost just deal with it this guy that I work with my skin has gotten pretty bad while I've been here pretty sure it's like 90% stress and so he's oh my god it's it's really bad it's really he's driving me home after work and he's like you have, you've been breaking out so much. You didn't look like that when you first came here. What's wrong? <laughs> There's like a good three seconds of me collecting myself silently. And I was like, yeah, I looked, I looked pretty different when I first came here, right? And I was like, also, it's not just acne. I have mosquito bites on my face. And he was like, no, I'm pretty sure that's just acne. He was right. He really gave it to me. That's kind of how it is around here. And you just have to deal with it and you just have to be super cool all the time. Which I think I've gotten better at, honestly. Like, whatever. Hit me with your best shot, bitch. Just kidding, I'm actually really always sad. At the smallest things, I'll, I'll cry when I go home. <sighs> like, I'll replay embarrassing moments in my life constantly throughout the day. If I have time to think, go over all of the terrible, embarrassing moments in my life and just reevaluate every second with detail and think about how I felt. Why do I do that? It's so bizarre the way we do things to ruin our lives. Like if I didn't think as much as I do, I would just be living a better life, honestly. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with my makeup. I think I'm gonna change. What should I wear? I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Seven nights only, but we knew it, love. But cliched the shedding of a pretty ex.